Hey, greetings everyone. It's Glenn Calloway from sunny Florida. It's not that sunny right now, a bit overcast. Some blue sky I see up there somewhere. Uh, I'm sitting in poolside, uh, but the water's freaking cold. There's no pool heater and the sun just ain't cooling it enough for me. But uh, we're taking off for St. Petersburg today, so heated pool at the hotel, I'm good with that. Got here yesterday mid-afternoon and uh, there was some stuff waiting for me when I got here what we'd like to call I guess VCLT uh, first from our great friend Steve all the world's a stage I love that man he's a brother that guy um, he uh, sent a few things here first he sent me this amazing book on Lou Reed now, you know what a big Lou Reed fan I am so thank you so much Steve I appreciate that very much I'm really looking forward to reading that. I mean, this is just a captivating individual who's never made a bad record in his life. He's amazing. Uh, seriously, this is for Larry. I don't even want to put it in my suitcase, but uh, I will because I like Larry. But uh, for anybody else, if you ask me to bring this Lou Reed book home, I would tell you to take a hike. I'd only do this for Larry because I love Larry. So thank you on Larry's behalf, Steve. Looking forward to, I'm sure Larry's looking forward to reading that book from the middle to the start, from the third way through to the th second third way through, from the last page to the first page. I'm sure Larry will love it. Next, a book I'm really interested in. Thank you very much, Steve. The Sly Stone Biography. Thank you for letting me be Mice Elf again, a memoir. Wow, this is going to be a good one. I'm... Uh, Big fan of Sly Stone and the Sly and the Family Stone, and um, um, he's had quite a uh, interesting life, shall we say? Um, I missed my one and only opportunity to see Sly and the Family Stone. I bought tickets to see them at Maple Leaf Gardens in 1969, opening at Grand Funk Railroad, who no one had heard of at the time. I think that they their first album came out but that didn't really break them and um the red album with paranoid on it was just coming out um they were incredible man so powerful we had great seats too like i think it was like second third fourth row and on the floors and just uh man they were a powerhouse it was awesome never forget that then sly pulls a no show doesn't come so miss sly and the family stone bonnie and delaney and friends Hopped in at the last minute to take over as the uh, headliner and did a fantastic job as always. One of the great live bands of all time. And uh, yeah, so thank you, Steve. He also sent this photo that he has been sending to a few people as a lovely gift. When Steve and I and Randy Nelson, our other great friend, went to Tulsa last year, on our incredible trip to the Bob Dylan Museum. And Steve took this picture and had it blown up. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Now, he gave me two of them. I hope they're both for me. Steve, you can let me know if I was supposed to do something with this second one or not. I don't want to give it to Larry. So uh, if there was someone else I was supposed to pass this on to, uh, let me know. I'm just kidding. If, you, if that's who it was for, I, I don't know what you wanted me to do with it. If it's two for me, I'm happy. Uh, excellent. What a great photo. That's the uh, Bob Dylan Center has two stories. Uh, this was on the second floor. As you walk up the stairs, this is what you saw. I'll let you be in my dreams if I can be in yours. On, written on the stairs. And then that great big giant picture of Bob. Wow, what a awesome, awesome. That's getting framed, Steve. Thank you, buddy. You're the best. Okay, speaking of Bob. 1987, I think, the first box set of records came out that focused on a rock artist. And it was put out by Columbia Records, and who else would it be about but Bob Dylan, Biograph. Now, I bought this immediately when it came out and absolutely loved it. Um... This actually might came out before 87. I'm trying to see if it is. 85, I'm sorry. So um, big, big fan of this box set. Somewhere along the line when I sold off my vinyl, I sold it. I have it on CD. I don't have the box. I just have the discs. But now 
Um, this was sitting in a record store in Orlando. Um, my daughter Andrea told me she saw it there. And I said I would really like to have it. And she was going to go back and get it. And I'd mentioned to Marsha that Andrea had seen it sitting there. Our good friend Marsha went back, picked it up, brought it over. And between her and Andrea, they figured it all out. And I think I owe Andrea some money for this. I'm not sure. But uh, what a career retrospective this was. And at the time, I had never heard live versions of the songs from the 66 uh, tour. And um, they have uh, Visions of Johanna and uh, on here and uh, ba -ba 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 um, I'll find it. Hmm. Why can't I find it? It's all over now, Baby Blue. At the time, live, unreleased. From 51766. Uh, Every Grain of Sand was on here. That was the first time I'd ever heard that song. Uh, just a great, great, great set. I love this. Uh, five records. This was the first that kind of opened the door for those kind of productions. Um, they had, I think, Eric Clapton's came out shortly after the Crossroads set at some point. Uh, Jethro Tull, 20 Years of Tull. They're the three big ones that I remember. I'm sure there was more. Bob Dylan with a book. And uh, lots of photos and stuff. Amazing. And on each song, Bob gives a little blurb about the song. So this was a really, really nice thing. I'm so excited to have this back in my collection. Very cool. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I will take that home and cherish it. Now, the biggest disappointment every time I come to Orlando for the last three years or whatever since my daughter's moved here, um, there's a store called Bright Light Books. I just love this place. It's like, I can't really wait to get there. I brought 20 used CDs down there, usually really generous. They usually take most of the stuff. And then they have a great selection of stuff for me to pick from on a, on a store credit. So this time I brought 20 CDs down. Now, I, granted, these CDs were nothing that I would get excited about. I probably would have taken them to a thrift store. So I thought whatever I get for them, I get for them. They're not coming home. So we're on limited time this time. We've got a pretty busy, busy schedule. And um, so this morning was my only time really to go to Bright Light Books. So I got up this morning and I went and I was all excited. I gave them the 20 CDs and a book. And uh, they said, oh, we got your credit figured out. I go up. I was expecting 25, 30 bucks. I got $13. So, okay. All right. What well, it is, what it is. I'm not taking them all. So um, I look. They have a ton of CDs and some records and books and stuff. I couldn't find one freaking thing that I wanted to spend money on. Not one. That the the selection was horrid, I was just so disappointed. Uh, it's that store lost its luster today. I'll tell you that. I picked up two CDs to cover my credit. Uh, one I'm kind of excited about because I've never heard it is Jefferson Airplane sweeping up the spotlight live at the Fillmore East, 1969. I don't even know where this. I get the feeling this came in a set with that 2400 Fulton Street. Someone might be able to tell me that I'm not sure but um, I love Jefferson Airplane and I'm hoping it's going to be a good sound quality live performance <coughs> the other one I picked up just to kind of fill in the credit Edgar Winter and Rick Derringer live in Japan I don't know if this is a what kind of release this is um, I like Rick Derringer I like Edgar Winter I saw Edgar with uh, Johnny back when Edgar was just part of that band in 1969. Uh, but this has Free Ride on it, um, Hang On Sloopy, uh, which, uh, which Rick Derringer did in the McCoys, Rock and Roll Hoochie Coo, Hoochie Coo, which is a rock and roll classic, and Frankenstein. So uh, there's some great tracks on here. I'm hoping it's going to be good. That is it for now. Like I said, we're a couple hours from now, we're heading to St. Petersburg. I'm sure I'll do a video from there. And um, I hope everyone has a great day. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you soon.